What is up guys, my name is Cartoons and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be dueling a warrior named Evelyn, who is another YouTuber. And we are going to be showing you, just for the purpose of this video, how crazy the mobility and control of Arcane Mage can really be. And I don't exactly think that it's unhealthy because Arms Warriors aren't necessarily meant to beat mages, they never really have. However, uh, I think that with these duels you'll get a better understanding of how to play Arcane Mage and that's really my goal for this is to express how strong it can be. So let's go ahead and jump into the duels. Alright guys, we're going to be jumping into duel 1 here versus Evelyn's and I have three different kinds of blinks. Well, four technically with displacement. But I'm going to go ahead and sit in this stun. I can't blink out whenever I have Shimmer. So we want him to pop Bladestorm really badly. But I can also cast while... Um, I can also or blink while casting. Mm -hmm. And Sorry, my phone's kind of blown up right now. But what we really want to do is get him to pop Bladestorm. Because at that point, he can't get out of Roots. And him not being able to get out of Roots is one of the most important things to being able to kill him. Um, so let's see if we can get him to use that blade storm i'm really not in any trouble right now he's popped his defensive cooldown so he does he takes less damage right now um okay we got him to pop blade storm all right so all we have to do right now is just wait uh we're gonna go ahead and trinket this blink away again uh, i can't really be touched right now we just have to wait all we have to wait is for the frost nova dr to come back up and then when that happens i'm able to really put down a lot of damage and there's no way that he's going to be able to get out of it so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and pop mark of Aluneth. Um, right on him, use all of my Arcane Blast with Presence of Mind. Uh, he actually got away of Mark of Luna, so, okay, that plan's a little bit gone, so this duel might be a little bit longer, which is perfectly fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Nova him now. He got out of it again. I don't know how he got out of it that time, but... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and blink away a couple times. We can Invisibility if we want to. Like, the, the class is pretty crazy. We're really not punished a whole lot. Like, I can just come out of Invisibility and Sheep him and eat to full. Like, this class really does have a lot of ways to get away. And that's kind of the point of this video, is to explain that. But what we're going to do is just work around Mark of Aluneth and kite him until we get the chance to kill him. Um, let's go ahead and Frost Nova him on his stun here. He can't get away from it. He Blade Stormed, which is really good. I'm going to go ahead and displace back to my very first blink a couple seconds ago. Um, just keep getting these Arcane Blast in, you know, doing a little bit of damage. Um, really not a whole lot going on until this Frost Nova comes back up, and then I'm able to do a solid amount of damage, right? Um, let's go ahead and juke his pummel there. Uh, he Arcane Torrented me. We're going to go ahead and sheep him here. He can't get out of this one unless he trinkets. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up a Rune of Power, and then we're going to Mark of Aluneth, and then Frost Nova him in it. Wait for just a couple seconds. We want this Mark of Aluneth debuff to run out. And then we're going to go ahead and Presence of Mind. We hit him for 900,000 there. Um, we're going to displace back, set up another rune of power over here, and start casting this big damage into him right now. He's at 30% health. I don't have any more mobility, really, so I kind of just have to chill. Um, but the more he can, like, get to me, the more healing he does. So we kind of just want to keep him slowed, keep him at bay. Um, and I think I can trinket this and finish him off with an arcane barrage as you can see like i really wasn't in any trouble at any point of the duel because i had so many defensive cooldowns and so many opportunities for mobility like i have four blinks even though i can't blink out of stuns it's really pretty crazy of how much you can do with this class and how like well you can manage your cooldowns to pretty much be invulnerable against like a single melee obviously against classes like you know subtlety rogues or feral druids that can consistently stun you um that's going to be a little bit more difficult but th the purpose of this video is to show you what you're able to do against a class that cannot stun you on a consistent basis and you can really play with in terms of blinking around and stuff like that okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and try and get a little bit more um like a clean duel in right we should be able to end the duel in about a minute and a half if i if we don't then i messed up uh he told me that he changed up his spec a little bit to get more mobility and more heroic leaps out so i'm gonna go ahead and try and open up with a sheep um he didn't charge me i i blinked because i thought he would charge me but he didn't actually do that so i'm gonna go ahead and mark of aluneth right now and put out a bunch of damage we're gonna trinket this fear and run him into this mark of aluneth let's see if we can get him in it nice we hit him for six hundred thousand right there which is pretty good, except for he has a bunch of defensive cooldowns, so it might be a little bit difficult to actually kill him. 
Um, but we're going to keep doing as much damage as we can. We're going to Frost Nova him here. I still have two blinks, so I'm really not in any crazy trouble. Um, I can't really escape him whenever I'm slowed and he's Blade Storming. So we're going to go ahead and hit him with another Frost Nova and just work our way around our Arcane Charges. Blink away from that. We got a stun here. Um, I can go ahead and blink away again and Invisibility so he can't do anything about that. Um, once this Frost Nova comes up and this Mark Luneth comes up, I should be okay because, like, I mean, really, what's he going to do, you know? Like, I, I can hit him for a ton of damage and he doesn't have any more defensive cooldowns, so we should be alright. Uh, but what we're going to do here is kite him out with slow, bring that arcane charges. Okay, he stunned me right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Nova him, walk away a little bit, hit Rune of Power, a Mark of Luneth, Presence of Mind... So, if he wants to do damage to me right now, he has to, like, stand in the Mark of Alunith, which is really, really dangerous for him. And it looks like he did actually choose to do that. I don't think he knew the range quite well, so we're going to go ahead and keep blinking away. Um, and finish off the duel with a nice Arcane Barrage, and that should be it. About two minutes long of that duel. So, I think if he didn't stand in the Mark of Alunith, uh, it would have been a lot longer duel, but I just don't think that there was really much kill pressure. Uh, for him as you can see with all of my defensive cooldowns and being able to reset the fight and um, I didn't even have ice block that duel So it's pretty crazy, right? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do one more duel for this video just to show you just the sheer power of this spec All right guys, we're gonna jump back into duel three here We're right in the middle of the action and as you can see Evelyn's has feared me and is still swinging at my face It's really hard to deal with that. Uh, he's blade storming, but we're at a safe distance So we don't have to really worry about this we're going to go ahead and start casting Polymorph and Blink Away while Polymorphing Sheep. His Trinket, maybe? Maybe? Nah. Alright, so we're going to put a, a Rune of Power down, use Mark of Alunith, and then Frost Nova him inside of it. Uh, I think that Avatar removes... Uh, what's it called? Duration? Or what's it called? Um, roots? So there's not really a whole lot I can do with that. But what we want to do is just keep Blinking Away. Get this solid Arcane Barrage on. He is somehow at... Uh, half health already he trinketed a slow that's kind of a rough decision i don't know if i can agree with that one uh, but it's okay um we're gonna go ahead and keep doing our damage we've got a solid amount going on we're gonna arcane explosion get some stacks up we're a safe distance away right now i'm well, not safe he's right on our tail actually so uh what we want to do is go ahead and blink away and then we have four blinks up oh i i messed up really badly so we're going to go ahead and leave this arena queue that just popped. Pop a rune of power. And then while he's blade storming, we're going to kill him. Bam! We did it! <laughs> uh, so that was a pretty quick duel. I was able to lay down the pressure really quickly and just keep cycling my arcane charges with the... Um, arcane barrage and stuff like that but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up as always and you can always find my videos on youtube.com slash hogman laws and subscribe to the channel for five videos a week so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all next time cartoons out